Hello violin friends, welcome to this lesson and in this lesson we're practicing exercise 176 on page 45. Whilst in previous lessons we've worked on tone quality, so we've worked on bow distribution and on loud and soft playing, in this lesson today we are working on intonation and intonation is a general term for playing in tune. Now tone quality always comes before intonation because if your quality sound is good, you can hear the intonation much better. First of all, we're practicing your part, which is the top line of this exercise. And then we're going to check that tuning by playing it together towards the end of the video. So hang in there right until the end. So you can check when you play this together with me, whether you are still perfectly in tune. As always, we're playing very slowly to give you time to adjust your fingers whenever you find yourself maybe slightly off. So I'll count this in for four and I'd like you to use the whole bow for each note. Again, that is so we can hear the notes properly. One, two, three, four. Take the bow here. Well done, very, very clever if you kept up with me all the time. There are moments in this music where we might be able to check the tuning with open strings. For instance, when you look at the second bar, you've got this. Of course, you can practice. See if you can match those third fingers with the open string. Something new that you might add to your playing in this lesson, you can always give it a go, is to try and play double notes. So if I look at the first two notes, I can play the C, and then the E. Now let's try and play these two notes together. And you should find that a lovely chord when you do that. Of course, you can't do that on the next two notes with the open D and the F, they are both on the same string, but you can perhaps play the second half of the second bar, the F and the A. Now, I would normally play this A with the fourth finger, but just for working on the intonation, I might play the F together with the open A string. And now you can play them together. The next two notes I can also play together. And remember, if you can't quite play clean fingers there, wriggle your elbow so that you alter the angle of your fingertip a little bit so that you can perhaps get that little tunnel going underneath your third finger so that your A string is ringing free. And you can go through this exercise and trying to find any notes that are on adjacent strings that you might be able to double up. And when you play two notes together, whether it's playing a duet, you and me together, or whether you play a duet by yourself by playing double notes, it always gives some reference to your intonation of your notes. So if you relate one note to another, it's much easier to judge whether those notes are in tune. And we've seen that a long time ago by relating the third fingers on the D string, for instance, with the open G strings, you get a relation between those two notes. And here we go that little bit further and we use two fingers that you can play together so you can judge 
both notes in relation to the other one. And that's a good skill to have. So you're developing your technique all the time and that's great. Now let's have a go at playing this song in two parts. So you keep playing the top part and we're keeping going equally slowly and I'll play you the accompaniment as it's written in your music. I'll count us in for four. One, two, three, four. enjoyed that and you I hope also that you feel that you are staying very well in tune throughout this piece and if you are write about it in the comment section down below so that we all know how you're getting on it will be lovely for other people to read and it will be lovely for you to read other people's comments as well so do give it a go if you've never done that before thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again very soon